Have you seen the moon map? The famous moon map? The moon map that coincides with the earth map? Let me explain. I didn't believe it at first. So I went and pulled up photos of the moon. And to my surprise, it was true. Since I didn't believe it, I went directly on the NASA website to pull up images of the moon. Okay, here they are. Not content, just to verify, I went on Google and started downloading images and photographs of the moon. Photographs taken by people, photographs taken by photographers, and photographs taken from like big entities like NASA. Okay. Then I looked at the video that I thought was fake, and I noticed that the images do coincide with the images used in this video. I didn't believe it either. I was skeptic, so you need to help me out and explain this to me. Why does the moon map coincide with Earth map? The more I say I'm not a flat earther, the more these things come out and I'm left baffled and puzzled. So Sergio put a lot of work into this. He even went down to the smallest details. He has mapped out time zones, seasons, flight paths, and distances for the first true representation of our world in a map. And it is of the utmost importance, primarily due to the unknown land masses. Sergio over named them Terra Vista, after land mass of the same name. But why have we never heard of this island? At least I haven't. Have you any? So, Sedge's representation of our known world marks the five prominent circles of land. We can see the Arctic Circle, the Tropic, the Equator, and the Antarctic Circle, the Sun's concentric journey around these circles of latitude. Mapping seasons and times with the utmost precision and accuracy, it's crazy. So, shout out to Sergio, because he definitely deserves it. So are you left baffled as me that did not expect it to actually coincide? I thought that these were all fakes and